In this series, we're going to be going over the basics of the tangent ratio on a right triangle. And after you see a few examples, you'll be able to figure them out yourself. If you haven't already, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. In this triangle, we have sides CG equals 2.8, HC equals 4.96, and HG equals 4.1. And the problem is find tangent of angle C. Let's write down the information that we have on the diagram. Side CG is 2.8, HC is 4.96, and HG is 4.1. Right away we can see the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And to find the tangent, we're not going to use the hypotenuse. In fact, the tangent is the only ratio that doesn't use the hypotenuse. So we want to find the tangent of angle C, and the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. The side that's opposite angle C is this one 4.1 and the one that's adjacent is this one 2.8. Tangent of angle C equals opposite 4.1 over the adjacent side 2.8. Now it's just a matter of dividing these two numbers. 4.1 divided by 2.8 is 1.4643 rounded to two decimal places 1.46 and that's the tangent of angle C. In this triangle, side JY is 17.3, side FJ is 25.48, and side FY is 18.7, and we want to find the tangent of angle J. So let's write the information that we know on our diagram. JY is 17.3, FJ is 25.48, and FY is 18.7. And we're looking for the tangent of angle J. The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. Use a different color for the hypotenuse because we won't be using that for our tangent function. The side that's opposite angle J is 18.7, and the side adjacent to angle J is 17.3. And our tangent ratio is opposite over adjacent. So using that, let's set up our equation. Tangent of angle J equals opposite 18.7 over the adjacent 17.3. And now using a calculator, 18.7 divided by 17.3 is 1.0809. Let's round that to two decimal places and call it 1.08. So the tangent of angle J is 1.08. In this right triangle, side KH is 8.51, KZ is 2.9, and HZ is 8. And we're going to find the tangent of angle K. Let's write down the information that we know. Side KH is 8.51, side KZ is 2.9, and side HZ is 8. The side opposite, the right angle, is the hypotenuse, which we don't need for the tangent function. We're trying to find the tangent of angle K. The side opposite angle K is this one. 8 and adjacent is right here 2.9. So let's set up our equation. Tangent of angle K equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite angle K is 8. Adjacent to angle K is 2.9. And now using a calculator we can figure out this ratio. 8 divided by 2.9 is 2.7586 and rounded to two decimal places we'll call it 2.76. So the tangent of angle K is 2.76. That's how you can use the sides of a right triangle to find a tangent.